guys, so today I wanted to make this video because actually I've been getting a lot of really great questions and my friend actually wanted to know if it's still important to floss your teeth. Apparently there's been a lot in social media and in the news talking about some study that says that flossing is unproven and it's completely unnecessary and there's no scientific uh, facts to back that up. So today I'm actually going to show you that flossing is important and what I'm going to be using to show you the plaque is this plaque HD toothpaste. So the plaque HD, it's the same concept as when you were a kid and you would chew on those pink tablets and then you would swish a little and then you would look in the mirror and you could see, you know, all the plaques. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it on. I'm not going to use it as a regular toothpaste. For this demonstration, um, you can use it as your everyday toothpaste to show you where the plaque is. It's a very discreet green if you just normally brush and then you look and it'll show you the spaces. But what I'm going to do for this video is I'm just going to take a little bit on this toothbrush, just you know, a little pea size amount, just as you would for any you know normal brushing, and I'm just going to brush it on my teeth. So you know you could see because. I, I'm not really like brushing, I'm just brushing it on. You know, it looks like it's a lot of green, but it's really not. It's really not when you just brush and then you would just spit and then you would see it. That's how you would normally use it. So, just brushing it on. Okay, so let's see. So actually, you can see that there's still plaque in between my teeth. So what I'm going to show you is two different ways that you can floss your teeth. Um, you could either, either use picks, like the Glide, or you could use the gum. This is my personal favorite. I always tell people to buy this floss because if you see it says with extra strong floss. So people always say, well, I always, you know, try to floss and then it gets stuck or I can't get it in between my teeth. This is like my absolute favorite floss and I can, you can literally do it anywhere. You just use this and you just have like a tissue and, you know, you just go in between and then you wipe it. You can literally floss anywhere. There's no reason to not floss at least one time a day. So, you know, you can use this. And then the other thing you could do, you know, if you want to really like step up your game, become a better flosser, is you can use like a, the Philips, uh, so, it's from Sonicare, and it's the water flosser. So this is really nice. I actually did a video on it. And what you do is, is you just, you would charge it first. It doesn't come charged. And then you turn it on. And then you just fill this res reservoir with some water. And you could use mouthwash, but I don't like to, to waste my mouthwash. You know, I like to swish with it like you normally should, 30 seconds, you know, after I'm all done with my brushing and flossing, and then I don't eat or drink or anything for 30 minutes, like usually most of the directions say, so you get all the essential oils and benefits of the fluoride in your rinses. So then you just close this reservoir, okay, and then you just push the button. So I don't know if you can see, you could tell. Like it's getting water everywhere. So all you're going to do is you just point it in between your teeth like that and then you just push the button as you go. So you'll see like as I do it, all the little green in between the teeth is gone. So just going to and make sure when you do it, you kind of like close your mouth after you put it where it needs to go and then close your mouth so it's not spraying everywhere. Same thing with your Sonicare toothbrush, you know, you put it where you need to go and then close your mouth so all those little, you know, sonic vibrations aren't getting everywhere. So you just push that and you could hear it kind of loud. Okay. And then I'm going to, on the top, I'm going to use these just so you can see the difference. So I always teach people, especially kids, I always teach them how to floss. 
And, you know, I tell them to use the picks because it's much easier, you know, if you have arthritis or, you, you know, you have like really a hard time with the string, you know, this is good. And, you know, if you have any dexterity issues, this is even better. This is the best if you have like any issues at all. So, you know, I tell them, okay, this little check mark, it goes towards the cheeks. So this is how you floss this area of the mouth. This is how you floss this area of the mouth. Same thing here and same thing for here. Okay, so you're just going to go in between. And the little trick you could do, like if it's an area that's hard to get in between, you just go and you bite down. And like don't do it too aggressive. Don't jam in the gums. Just At least just get in between the tooth. You just go in and you come out. And then you just, you know, you just go in between each area. So let's see. So you could tell I completely skipped this tooth when I was demonstrating it. <laughs> so good. It's all gone. So I hope you guys like this video. You know, I hope that you, um, you know, definitely learn something that it's definitely important to floss your teeth, to remove the plaque from in between your teeth. Um, also, I have a website. If you do want to try the Plaque HD toothpaste, you could check out katiethehygienist.com. I have some promotions and special pricing. And tag someone in this video if you if you like it and you think you know someone else might like it or might benefit you know from learning about plaque removal, especially flossing in between your teeth. And let me know too, like which way do you like to floss? Do you like to use a water pick or do you like to use little picks or do you like to use traditional floss? I mean, you know, I'd like to hear that. I, I'm i definitely not a fan. I am a guilty hygienist of not using, you know, regular floss. I, I swear by the picks, you know, whatever is going to make it easy for you. And also, please check out my next video. I'm going to be showing the one minute floss technique. All right. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you like my videos.